This is a painting of Jesus called Prince of Peace. It was actually done by an eight-year-old girl named Akian Kramarik. And I just think it's amazing, the look in his eyes and that look of compassion. I bought that from my mom when she was still alive. And then when she passed away, I thought, boy, I really would love to have that. It reminds me that Jesus is watching over me. And I know we don't worship a painting, but it's just a, a great way to remind myself that the Lord is always in control. I hope you know that he is watching over you. And I want to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. It reminds me of a song called His Eye is on the Sparrow. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. The lyrics are like, go like this. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. I sing because I am happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. And that's actually based on a few verses in the Bible that are found in Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 through 31. And I'm reading from the King James Version. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. He cares so much about you, and he cares about me. And I know that we live in difficult times, and the news is not good. It doesn't seem like there's a lot to be happy about. But when we realize that Jesus died for our sins, he's forgiven us if we've asked him to, and he lives in our hearts, and we know that one day we're going to be with him forever. And as I've said many times, this world will be a very distant memory. We will be with Christ forever and our loved ones will have new bodies. And boy, what a day that will be. But think about Jesus. Think about the way he loves us and think about the fact that he's watching over you. He knows your needs. He wants to meet your needs. And if you pray, and if you live rightly, that's important. Follow the Lord. Do what he tells us in his word. Keep the Ten Commandments. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. He he's watching over you. He will protect you. I hope that inspires you. God bless you. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.